To the southeast, renewed German attacks are driving French divisions back towards Montedelier. The German 1st Division, previously stalled just north of the Somme, has now taken the initiative to the south and captured the bridge at Circe, thereby threatening the left flank of the British 5th Army. Meanwhile, lorry-mounted anti-aircraft guns at Albert protect against the continuous British air attacks. German two-seater attack aircraft, specifically outfitted and assigned to do low-level work, are harassing our retreating soldiers. Offensive patrols have been requested to intercept them before they reach the front. Hello everybody, Wolfpack345 here, and welcome to episode number four of our Sop with Camel career as we prepare for our offensive patrol. Let's go ahead and throttle up. So our mission is to intercept a group of German two-seaters, which are attempting to attack our retreating ground troops. And we're going to try to intercept them on the German side of the lines. And as you can see, there's quite a few anti-aircraft batteries in this area. So that is going to be interesting, to say the least. But we're really just taking off and uh, heading south towards Amiens where we will follow the Somme towards the German side of the lines. The goal is to intercept the Halberstadts on the enemy side of the lines before they get a chance to attack our uh, ground forces. I am leading a flight of five Sopwith Camels and three additional Sopwith Camels will be providing air support to protect us against enemy fighters. Let's go ahead and cut our mixture a little bit. And there we go, looks good and airborne. Perfect. I'll throttle down and let my uh, fellow uh, airmen take to the sky and form up on me here. We really need to turn. I'll go ahead and uh, make my turn now. All right, perfect. All right, so that's about all I have to say. I do apologize for last week uh, I was not able to upload a Flying Circus episode. Uh, I do apologize for that. I was kind of busy, but I will uh, I'll make up for it. <laughs> Hopefully that will be the only delay in the series. If you're watching this series in the future, then uh, none of this makes sense and none of it matters. In the meantime, we will head towards Emien and follow the Somme River. I believe that is the end of my pre-ramble, so I'll go ahead and cut now and get back to you folks very shortly. Okay, just a brief update on the situation. We are well into the mud now and about to cross into the German side of the lines. I do expect we will be shot at by anti-aircraft fire momentarily. If you look on the map here, we're getting pretty close to uh, our patrol zone. We're going to bounce between the north and southern uh, patrol areas there. We'll just uh, kind of zig and zag between both of them. And uh, yep, there it is. Oh, it looks like the anti-aircraft fire is primarily targeting our escort way up there, which is interesting, but uh, good luck, chaps. <laughs> that's, that's a lot of Archie, I must say. That, that's thick. That's pretty cool, though. All right, well, we need to focus on uh, flying in a straight line and staying level. We're above clouds. I might climb up a little bit higher just so we have a distinct altitude advantage over uh, whatever is coming towards us. But other than that, I will keep you folks updated as the situation develops. And uh, yeah, who knows when the Halberstadt will be here. I have not seen any German aircraft thus far. Uh, the skies have been fairly empty besides us and our escort up there. And holy cow, that is nuts. Okay, well, I'll go ahead and cut now and get back to you guys soon. Well, it seems my formation was bounced by a fault, I believe. Where is it? Yep, there it is. There's a fault right there, which is quite the surprise. I was just scanning the skies over here looking for any uh, Halberstadts or two-seaters, but maybe these are our primary objective. Clipped them quite a bit there. Ooh, let's avoid our friend. Hit our blip switch so we don't cause any damage to our poor little engine here <laughs> that would be quite bad although we are fairly close to uh, our side of the lines as well so we'll probably be able to recover a-okay pretty good hits there Let's clear our guns keep an eye on our false friend he's still flying 
Looks like he's shaking quite a bit, however. Just one lone fault, I suppose. I, I was expecting there would be more. Hello there. There he is. Looks like uh, my friends are kind of taking care of him. Just clipped his tail there in that last shot. Throttle back. Come down on him. There we go. Oh, I destroyed him. He's going down. Down she goes. And, yeah, she crumpled in that dive. Let's see, is there anything else about? Just a bunch of camels. No visual on anything else. Well, I suppose we'll keep patrolling because we were expecting two-seaters, not falses. It's over there. Those are camels as well. Um, yeah, I think these are all friendly aircraft. So I think we'll be okay. We'll uh, swirl around over here for the time being, uh, regroup. Actually, let's make sure. That kind of looks like a fault back there, but I could be wrong. I just want to be sure <laughs> everything we are near is uh, friendly. What's on that camel? Yep, that's a fault. Okay. It's kind of hard to make out in the cloud there. It's getting shooting at our friend. Well, let's get in there. A few hits right there. All right, there we go. I guess the formation here got separated can kind of divide and conquer. That faults does not look to be in the best of shape now. Let's try to stay out of the main arc of his guns, however. I heard bullets going through fabric, but my aircraft looks okay. Guess I misheard that. Wow, that poor fault. He's done for. Like he's streaming fuel, and his wings are absolutely shredded, but he's sticking in there. He's staying in the fight. Kudos to him. Oh, there's, there's two. Run into a whole lot of them. All right, well, let's go for the damaged one, because you know, I'm evil. Try to maneuver onto a six. This ain't this fault is looking pretty bent out of shape at the moment. Pretty good hits right there. It kind of looks like I hit the pilot, but I suppose I did not. Oh, I just ripped off his tail. That's kind of cool. Oh, I pulled up too hard, avoiding a collision there. That was pretty freaking close. And it looks like a fire may have started on that false. Smoking pretty heavily. I think that's enough. I think he's done for. I've used a lot of ammo. More ammo than I would really want. And now all I am seeing is camels for the most part. Yeah, it's just 
Oh, there's a false. I guess these were... I thought we were supposed to attack two-seaters. But, uh... These guys attacked us, so... Might as well take them out. To avoid a collision. Go, good hit. Started a fuel leak. And is he going down? Oh my gosh, I think I killed the pilot there. And this one that is just all sorts of screwed up is still going, which is amazing. There's a fire. It's another fault going down. Alright, check guns. How many is that? Two? Well, that was quite the engagement, I must say. Having no luck spotting the two-seaters. But I'll uh, continue and try to look for them. We'll keep patrolling these this area. It looks like the falses have been cleared out. I'm not seeing anything else. And uh, my friends are forming up on my six, so this is good. We'll uh, be on the lookout for any German two-seaters, and I'll keep you guys updated. All right, there's quite a bit of Archie fire in the distance on our side of the lines, and it looks like there's a formation of five aircraft uh, silhouetted by the cloud. I don't know if you folks can see that. Uh, it's kind of hard to see, even for me, but uh, I think those might be our two-seaters. Uh, the Fulses distracted us, and these guys were able to slip on by. So there's currently uh, only four of us. One of our friends must have gone down. So this is going to be an interesting engagement. Thankfully, we will be taking the engagement on our side of the line, so if my camel gets wounded, I can uh, nurse it back uh, into a nice field or something. I won't have to <laughs> crash land and become a POW. See, we are approaching from below, which is okay with me since these are two-seaters and their rear gunners have quite the field of fire. Let's see, I have no idea how much ammo I have. I feel like I've expended quite a lot of it in the uh, engagement against the Faltus. So this will be interesting for sure. Hopefully my pilot doesn't get killed here. That would be concerning. Let's go ahead and begin this. Alright, it looks like the formation is breaking. I don't know what they're doing. I wish our friendly Archie would open up and take one of these guys out. Or even a few of them. That would be great. Uh, there's one that is somewhat separated from the rest of the pack. And look, they're already shooting at us. I think the one that's separated will be my target. Is currently shooting at me. Holy cow. Uh, Huns in the sun. Alright, let's get them, boys. Yeah, lots of tracer fire from above. They have just such a good field of fire in those things. Alright, time to climb up. Possibly uh, engage here. Oh, that bullet came awfully close to my crate. This is a flight leader. Throw some shots. I actually got hits there. Maybe. Oh, let's let's do some evasive maneuvers here. Not enjoying this. Let's try to keep them in our little window. However, let's see. I don't think the rear gunner has a field of fire now, so we'll uh, come up and take our shots. Oh, it's turning.
few good hits. A few more good hits. It looks like he's leaking fuel. I hope I killed the gunner. I might have. His engine is puffing smoke as well. All right, here we go. The gunner is not shooting at us. Oh, he is still shooting. I thought I incapacitated him, but I suppose I did not. Looks like he's shooting at another camel. Here's my chance. Out of ammo. Fuck. All right, that's it for me. You get him, boys. It looks like he is having engine trouble, though. You can see his engine's puffing that uh, kind of black smoke. I don't think he's going to be able to make it. I can try to draw his fire and give my allies a chance to get some more shots on him. Looks like the formation, the rest of the formation has split and returned home, so our mission is accomplished. Let's take this guy out. Yeah, he is not doing well. That gasoline leak, it might be easy to uh, start a fire. Ooh, that was close. I think he might be going down. I have a camel coming in and he broke off. Come on, fellas. It looks like they're being just as cautious as I was. To be fair, the gunners are very accurate. And quite scary. One hit to the engine and uh, your plan goes kaput. Okay, a few more hits there. I'm just circling this fight, watching it, since there's nothing I can really do. Oh no, is that camel going down? No, it's not. Alright, here you go, brave little camel. Ah, uh, he missed. No, well, that Halberstadt is probably going to end up going down here. I don't expect it'll be able to make it back to home. Uh, looks like these camels are going to continue to make passes on it, but unfortunately I'm going to be very little help here when it comes to defeating this guy. But his engine's puffing black smoke now, so I think he's done for. We're going to go ahead and head on home. There's no point in lingering around and risking our aircraft and our life. And hopefully these guys will follow me home. Because like I said, uh, the formation has been dispersed and they're all running home. So that's a mission accomplished in my book. Yeah, that Halberstadt is looking mighty poor. Yeah, it's going to go down. So we're going to go ahead and head on home. I will cut now and get back to you guys on landing approach. Well, we've made it to our home airfield, so we're going to come in for a nice and easy landing now. And in the sortie, the last time I checked, my friendly flight was wrapping up their fight with the Halberstadts, and uh, we got a mission accomplished pop-up, so I believe they ended up downing it. Let's see here, and we'll go ahead and turn on the final here. And hopefully round out this sortie with a nice and easy landing. My engine's overcooled because I was <laughs> diving down using the blip switch. But hopefully it won't cause too many issues here. Alright, and turn on to final. Perfect. This is looking pretty good. come over the trees here. I'm sure not to strike our wheels. That would be disastrous for us. Alright. And here we are. Right, blip switch. I don't know why it says engine failure. Pretty sure that is a, uh, a bug. Bounce here and there. Oh boy. 
Not my best. Oh, stop, 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 stop. Oh boy, just. <laughs> Hello, Winsock. Alright. How close? Yeah. You know what? That is the perfect parking spot for the mechanics. I have to say, they have a nice little fire to keep themselves uh, warm. Beautiful. And there's another camel coming in, so looks like my flight is starting to return now. Let's go ahead and finish our mission. Yes, please. See how everything, how we did. So we were only credited with uh, two air, aerial victories. Let's check the events log. Oh, we were flying around. This is the faults destroyed. Faults destroyed. Camel. Two camels went down. This must have been my uh, SE5s were fighting way over there. And then over here. Okay, so we have a camel down. And a halberstat went down. And then another camel went. Or another halberstat. So two halberstats were destroyed over here. And this is interesting. These two camels. These, I wonder what they how they went down. It could have been anti-aircraft fire. There was anti-aircraft batteries around here. But uh, maybe they engaged something. This was our uh, air cover, our escort, so that was very possible. And then we flew home. Yeah, pretty, uh, pretty easy. All right, let's go ahead and finish. And bridge bombing is mission number five. So that sounds pretty exciting if I do say so myself. Anyway, that is going to conclude this here mission. Thank you all for watching. As always, this is Wolfpack345 signing off, and I'll see you guys on the next one.